Hey guys, this is Matt Kids and Owen with our third iPhone programming tutorial. In the previous tutorials, we've been working with one screen that the user sees that doesn't change. It will have a text thing or something like that on it, and it did some stuff. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make multiple screens or views that will allow the user to navigate through menus, stuff like that. So we're going to go into Xcode, create a new project, create a view-based application and I'll call it multiple view controllers. Um, in previous tutorials we've been writing our code in the main view controller and we've been editing the main view controllers interface builder interface. But the thing with you know bigger apps that have menus and multiple screens and different levels and games possibly is that they have more than one view controller. And a view controller essentially contains a view that ha that's the full size of the screen that we can put interface on. And they also support stuff like animations, you know, all this nice stuff that makes it you know, look nice, stuff like that. So let's set up the screen or the uh, view controller that the user will see when the app first opens. And that's in the main view controller. Alright. So I'm going to have a, a button in the main view that says next view. And I'll even have a title thing. It says main view. Alright. And what we're going to do is make it so when they click this button, a, another screen pops up and it's got a different sort of interface. You can go to multiple view view controller. We'll just set up our action for the button. here and here's where the code will go to bring up another sh another you know, view controller that will have a different interface so we already know how to use interface filter to create the main view the main interface but what we don't know how to do is create a new view controller what you want to do is right click on classes go to add new file go to Cocoa touch classes UI view controller subclass I'm going to set it up like this, and I'm going to call it Next View Controller. We'll just drag the XIB into resources to make it easier to understand. And here's a screen, here's the a, a view controller that the user won't see when the app first opens up. And this is going to be what appears when they click the Next View button on this view. We'll call it Next View. And we'll add a button to this. That is done. And by the way, the button buttons that look like this work the same way that regular UI buttons work. So we can go here in our next view view controller. Set the ID action here. What you have to understand is it, it will get sort of confusing if you're dealing with tons of views and you have them all open in interface builder once and you sort of lose track of which dot h and m you're using. So it's very important to keep track of that. I'll go back into Interface Builder and hook up this button with our next view controller. And I'll hook up the next view button in the main view with the next view action in the main view code. And so we've now set up the actions in both this and this. What we're going to do now is make this code show the other next view controller and you know it's it's not it's not as straightforward as you would think it's not one line of code but it's pretty easy what you want to do is declare a new instance of next view controller well, NVC and we will set it up I'll explain this to you in a second because it's actually nice to understand this stuff Alright, so before we compile, and there's one other step I have to do before that, we can take a look at what we're doing. This is declaring a new variable, basically, that is the type next view controller. We made a new class, a new view controller, that, that is an object called next view controller, and that's the type of object it is. And NVC is just an instance of that. 
Just like if we say int i, that's an instance of an int. Now that's a bad example because int isn't actually an object, but it's pretty similar. Next view controller is a type of the UI view controller. It's what we call a subclass, meaning that it does everything that a UI view controller would do plus more. And if we take a look at this, this would work if we just said UI view controller right there as well. It's the same thing. It's just uh, more stuff on it. And every UI view controller responds to alloc and it responds to init with nib name bundle. And you can set the nib name to nil and it'll still work and bundle to nil and it'll still work. And that that's magic stuff Apple does for your convenience. It's really nice. Alright, the next line of code is self present modal view controller MVC animated yes. You might be wondering, well, what's self and what's present, etc. Self once again represents an instance of the UI view controller. And self basically means whatever class we're writing this in refers to self. So multiple view controllers, view controller is a type of object as well as next to you controller is that you know is it basically it, it works just like a UI view controller and so if we were to declare NVC which is a type of UI view controller right there it would be the same so let's just fix that uh, so right there present modal view controller animated is is a function on every UI view controller as well that basically says all right I want you to display this new UI view controller on the screen and I want you to animate it in this case and then every object responds to the release method which just frees it in memory if it's not retained there's there's one more step also you have to take with with this in order for it to work. Right here we're a few referring to next view controller. But in order to know about next view controller, we have to import it. So I'll go into multiple view controllers, view controller dot h, and in here, next to this import, I'll add another import and import that. And you'll find when you have a lot of objects and classes set up, you'll be importing them all over the place and it'll be somewhat confusing. So now if we run this I'll just demonstrate it. Click next view and it brings up this new view. Now the done button doesn't work yet and we haven't set that up. All right, so now let's set up the done button. We can go into next view controller and we've already got this done buttons action set up. What we're going to do is do self parent view controller, dismiss, etc. And what this basically does, self, once again, in next view controller, represents an instance of UI view controller. And every UI view controller has a parent view controller property. We'll get into properties when we're into more object oriented stuff. And then dismiss modal view controller animated is a function that you know, hides the view controller. And you can pass yes to that. And so now if we run this, click here, it comes up, we can click done, and it hides. So that was how to do multiple views, uh, view controllers with iPhone Objective-C. If you have any questions, I know I did this pretty fast, just leave comments below and I'll try to answer them as fast as possible. So thanks for watching, Mac Kids on the One. Subscribe and goodbye.